What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt Worthington and on this page I talk about all things apartment locating, real estate, motivation, inspiration, and getting ahead uh, with a little bit of side hustles and things in between. I want to start off this video by telling you guys thank you so much for 100 subscribers. Uh, it feels pretty crazy to be honest that people are watching my videos and getting enough value to feel um, comfortable enough to subscribe. So I thank you for that. Um, you know, when I started this channel, it was all about helping provide some value and some insight on how to get ahead, how to break away from, you know, the generational curse or generational barriers or the corporate world. Even I just want to show you guys that you can do it too. And, um, maybe some of the things that I share and I talk about and things that I'm doing can help you guys level up as well. So, uh, I just appreciate you guys for, uh, subscribing and for following my content. Uh, my goal is just to continue to try and provide as much value for you guys as possible. So as always, in any of these videos, please comment below. Let me know what you're looking for. Any questions you have, I'll definitely do my best to answer them. Um, but just genuinely and very sincerely, thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. Uh, it's <laughs> It feels pretty good. So thank you so much. Um, but in this video in particular, I'm going to be talking about how to get hired by a real estate brokerage. Um, I can't remember who it was specifically, but somebody asked me in one of the comments um, how to go about that, what the process looks like. And I have a couple key points that I think would be helpful to you guys, and uh, I'll be sharing that today. Um, and before I start, I do want to say also that I'm a, a little guy in this industry. Um, I know it's very niche, but if you guys haven't taken the time and uh, had the chance to look at Pierre's page, uh, do so. He's got so much content and he's the guy with uh, more knowledge than probably any of us in this industry because he's been doing it for so long and he's done very well at it. So I want to give a ch uh, shout out to Pierre and uh, tell him that I appreciate all that he does for all of us in this industry and in, in this space. Um, and if you guys haven't looked at his page, definitely check it out. So um, let's get into it. Here's the video apartment locating specific, how to get hired by a brokerage. Um, and the first step is you got to research different brokers. So I posted a video on how to get leads. And one of the things that I talked about was going with a broker like apartment pros or apartment experts or smart city, because they feed you leads. And that's wonderful. But to Pierre's point and, and his comment, they do take a high split. Now there's a trade off, right? They help you get leads, which is wonderful but they take a high split. Well, I guess you could argue that if you're not getting the leads anyway, then who, who cares about the high split? It gives you experience and allows you to get into it and allows you to grow and get a feel for what the industry's like, practice, get your reps in so that you can improve and then go off and find another broker that takes a lower split, but doesn't provide you as many leads. The other option is to go work for Pierre's brokerage. Um, by no means is Pierre giving me any sort of split for saying this, uh, but I do think he probably can provide a lot of value and insight. I think his broker is uh, called the Duck Hunters Brokerage or the Apartment Duck Hunters Brokerage. Um, and he's definitely somebody to talk to and see if that's a good fit for you. I'm sure he'd be a great mentor uh, That and that's an option. So you can do your own research and find the one that you might like, but you know, Pierre has a very specific and niche apartment locating brokerage, and that would be a good person to go talk to. Uh, and I think you can connect with him, uh, his name and his handle I'll, I'll drop below, uh, and you can follow him on Instagram, um, or go to his, um, Facebook page, which is, uh, I think apartment duck hunters, Austin, something like that. I, I'm not too familiar with it. Uh, but I know he's a great person to go to and he'd be a good, good broker. Um, but yeah, you know, just find your wants and needs and then find a brokerage that fits those specifically and then go with them and, uh, and apply. So, you know, the next step is simply applying. So send in your resume, um, maybe hop on a phone call with them, try to call them o over the phone and, and, you know, talk to them a little bit. Um, if that goes anywhere, then wonderful, uh, follow up with them. Um, if they, if, if you don't hear back, um, and something that I really think separates, the the good from the great is handwritten cards 
handwritten letters. So if you find a broker that you really want to work with and you're not hearing back from them, well then show up in person and drop off a handwritten card and show that you're hungry, show that initiative, show that personalized touch. And uh, that's a great way to stick out from the crowd for uh, you to be someone that they remember because you went that extra step, not just to send them an email or shoot them a text or leave them a voicemail. You actually showed up in person and you wrote them a handwritten card. I think that speaks volumes. And that goes for anything. That co can go for your apartment clients. That can go for leasing agents, property managers. If you write handwritten cards and letters and notes, that'll make all the difference in the world. You will be remembered. I guarantee it. So the next step, before you have that in-person interview, assuming that it will be in person rather than over the phone, practice in front of a mirror, guys. Uh, it sounds funny, it sounds silly, it sounds cliche, but just being able to see how you come off in front of the mirror will help you immensely. Um, it shows you if you're moving your hands too much. It shows you if you're, uh, your eye contact is wavering too much. It shows you if you're not smiling enough, if you're too monotone. Um, that's a great thing to do is just practice in front of the mirror, make sure that you're looking presentable, you're looking welcoming, and uh, you're enthusiastic enough for them to say, hey, you know what, would I buy from this person? Would I work from this person? Yes, I would, definitely. So practice in front of the mirror, that's definitely a good thing to do before the interview, uh, again, assuming that it's in person. So number five, again, assuming the interview's in person, or even if it's not in person, uh, show up early, right? Like be ready on the Zoom call, be ready on the Skype call, be ready for the phone call at least five minutes early. You know, we've all heard the saying, uh, uh, early is on time and on time is late, right? So be prepared, be ready to go, be efficient, be prompt. Um, and if it is in person, again, even if it's on Zoom, dress professionally. Uh, you know, looks are a huge thing in the real estate world. You want to look clean. You want to look presentable. You want to look fresh, you know, brush those teeth. You know, if, if you want to be clean shaven, be clean shaven. The beauty of the real estate world is, uh, you, you don't have, to, it's not like the corporate world where you have to, uh, you know, you can't have tattoos and you have to be shaven. You got to have a nice haircut. You can't have long hair. It's a little bit different, right? Uh, for guys, at least, uh, piercing, th this and that. Real estate world, you know, if, if you're good at your job, if you're nice, you're respectful, um, most of the time people want to be, be around you. But with that said, you know, make sure your, your, your hygiene's, uh, up, you know, is good. You smell good. You, uh, and, and all that will help you feel good. So definitely dress professionally, um, and show up in the office with a great attitude, um, or on the call with a great attitude. Uh, you, you know, it, it's important to make a good first impression. And if it is like a brick and mortar space or, uh, an in-person building, there's probably likely someone up front and you gotta, you gotta build that rapport with the person up front at the front desk. You know, that is the gatekeeper essentially. And I guarantee you nine out of 10 times that person is going to go pass on what they thought of you and how you pre presented yourself and how you walked in, uh, to the person that is hiring in the back. So definitely make sure that you're putting on a good show and a good front from the jump, from the get go. That will speak volumes, I uh, guarantee it. Not only do you want to have a handwritten card before you apply to get that interview to follow up, but you want to have a pre-written handwritten card uh, as a thank you, a thank you note that at the end of the interview, you can, you can hand it to that person and say, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you for having me out I know you're busy, so um, the fact that you took the time to see me is greatly appreciated. And that is always a great final touch that when you walk out, you just pull that out of your back pocket, you hand it to them, and they go, wow, that's odd. You know, we don't get that often. So again, that'll speak volumes. So definitely just having like a thank you card of some sort uh, showing that you appreciate their time um, always helps. Um, the next one. Uh, come with questions at the end of almost every interview, they will ask, what questions do you have? And if you say, Oh no, nothing, I'm good. Well, they're going to, it's going to raise some red flags. So ask them some questions. You know, what's the culture like here? Uh, a question I always like to ask is what is a question that most people ask that I haven't asked yet? That's a great question. They're like, Oh, well, you haven't asked about this or that. Those are 
the things that people typically want to know. Um, you can ask them, what are some things that you look for that if I did would help me get hired and or be successful in this role? Uh, what are the best um what are the best real estate agents at your brokerage do to be successful? What are some success habits that you've found? Things like that, that just show you're hungry, that show you're willing to learn, that show your passion, that show that you're trying to be the best because any brokerage wants to bring on agents that are going to help them make money ultimately, that are going to help boost the image of their brokerage. So those are all great things for you to keep in mind and questions to ask whenever you are at the end of the interview and the broker or the hiring person, the HR person of the real estate company says, what are some questions that you have? The next thing is eye contact, guys. That is so huge. And, and I think it's easy for all of us to um, have a tendency to kind of look away, right? Whenever we are uh, in an interview or talking to someone. But if you can just maintain direct eye contact, uh, not a creepy amount, but <laughs> just enough that um, you are locked in, you're engaged, and you show that you are paying attention, that definitely helps. And it also shows confidence. If you can just look at someone in their eye and not break eye contact and smile and just stand firm in that, I guarantee you they'll say, no, this, this person... This person's got it, right? So eye contact is definitely huge in the interview. Um, and the next thing is just enthusiasm. It's energy. It's being likable, right? Uh, people don't necessarily buy what you sell, but they buy from you because they like you, right? They don't buy from you because of what you sell. They buy from you because they like you. And so just be likable, guys. Just go in there, be yourself, be friendly, be upbeat. That is someone that they are going to want to work with, Um and that is someone that they are going to trust that clients are going to want to work with as well. So guys, just be, just go in there and just have a good time. Show energy, smile, laugh, cut up with them. You know, life's too, like life is very short, right? So don't take yourself too seriously. When you need to be serious, be serious. Whenever you can kind of feel the, the energy of the room shifting a little bit where, you know, they're light on their feet, then be light on your feet as well. So go into that interview and just be that person that just stands out, that person that everybody wants to be around. Because if they want to be around you, then likely clients are going to want to be around you too. And they're going to refer you to their friends and family. And you're going to get so much business. You're not going to want to know. You're not going to know what to do with it. So just be very likable. That's super important. And uh, the last thing I had here is if you don't get this position, if they tell you, you know, now's not the right time. We don't feel like you're a good fit for a team. Follow up with them anyway. Tell them thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for meeting with you. Thank you for seeing you. If there's anybody they have in mind that you might be a better fit uh, for, that would be wonderful. And you'd love to get that list of names so that you can reach out to them. And even if they're willing to go the extra mile and introduce you um, or use uh, them as a referral source for these other um, brokerages, that would be wonderful just so that you have a, a little bit of foot in the door and a little bit of credibility coming into those interviews because you have been recommended by this particular brokerage. Um, and uh, yeah, just tell them again, thank you so much for the, the opportunity for you to come on board and that uh, you know you appreciate their time. And hopefully that, that's not the case. Hopefully you do get um, hired on. And if that's the case, then follow up anyway. Tell them, thank you so much. You're excited. You're ready to go. You're pumped up. You're fired up. And that will just show them that you are dialed in, that you are bought in, and you are ready to go and make a difference in this industry. So that's what I got for you guys today. Quick, quick 14, 15 minute video of how to get hired by a brokerage. Um, I think you guys are all going to do great. If you have any specific questions or anything I missed, please add them in the comments below. But biggest thing, guys, is I'm just here trying to provide some value, trying to help uh, make a little bit of a, a difference in, in your lives as you try and make a difference in uh in the world yourself. So thank you guys for watching this video. Again, anything that I can do to help you guys out, please let me know. Uh, when you do get a chance to uh, watch some of my other videos, you feel free to comment on those also. 
So that's it. Hope y'all are having an awesome week. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And until next time, we will see y'all. Uh, we'll see y'all soon. All right, peace. Take care.